In this video, I will discuss the main attributes that I like in a dog. So what would the perfect dog be? And this is regardless of species. So it could be that another dog breed, that the ones that I chose for example, could also have all those uh, properties. So first of all, I want my dog to be uh, dependable, so that you can depend upon it for the task that you want it to perform, but also for how it, for example, is reliable with your children or your family. That will be the main attribute. So first, dependability. Second, I like my dog to be uh, an asset to the house. And how can I be an asset to the house? that they have a uh, character that can be relaxed inside and also not overly barky. So that's uh, an, another important factor. Third factor would be that it is a dog that is uh, of good health, good athletic ability, so that you can have an active uh, companion who is also healthy and has a, has a good lifespan. It's not uh, the most important facet that you have a very high lifespan, but I would like to, uh, yeah, to have my uh, buddy around me for quite a while. And why did, do I say it's not the most important part? Well, if you have a dog that is uh, always pampered, it will be a lot easier to have a higher lifespan than a dog that works, for example. Then, uh, next point, that's my fourth point, and that is, I would like a dog to be low maintenance. So what does it mean? Is it that he doesn't eat that much? That's not the most important uh, part. The most important part is that a dog is uh, easy to care for. I refer to this as a wash and wipe dog. So for example, if I have this dog and he goes into the mud and I just uh, take a, a blanket, I can just wipe all the mud that is then dried up off of him so easily. And I like this because then you don't have the, the smells that come with it. But also, we don't have uh, the dirt lying around in the house. So with those four uh, factors mentioned, what type of dog uh, fulfills that role for me? In this uh, equation you see here, it is uh, the Petadol Terrier. A smooth coated variety for the wash and wipe uh, part, but also the rough coated and the broken coated are very nice suitable dogs. It have all the other similar attributes as well. Another dog that comes uh, very much in that direction would be uh, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier of working lines, especially the Irish ones. I must mention on the dependability part, I also want the dog to be very brave so it doesn't back down if the going gets tough. That's an important uh, factor and that will separate these uh, Blue Ontario breeds from many other breeds who will easier back down and break on the pressure. So that's it. I would love to hear your thoughts. I made a video about uh, the four, four facets that I really like to a dog. One being uh, a dog that is dependable. I will go into more detail into this video to a dog that is easy in the house. For example, it has a relaxed state as well, and it's not that barky. Third, good athletic ability and uh, health. And fourth, low maintenance. So wash and wipe dog, so to say. That leg. Hey. Oh. Dat is een kleintje, hè? Goed hoor. Zeker. Nou ja, ja, we moeten even weten wat het is nu. Hè? Even de, de barcode uitlezen. <laughs> ja. 
Zachtjes bijtje. Zachtjes. Ja, wel. Zo, alles gezien? Maar hij zat er zijn pootje eroverheen inderdaad. Oh, zo, dan is hij weer los. Oh, ze hebben een groot door hè. Ja, leuk toch? Geniet er maar van met zo'n kleine mup. Ja. Ja, je teefje dat is goed, maar een mannetje dat mag niks meer. Ja, mannetjes zijn uh, soms macho tegenover elkaar, ja, soms als vrouwtjes ook hè. Dominant. Ja, heel dominant. Dat doen ze het schat. Ja, zeker. Ja. Dat is goed hè. Ja, draai je maar helemaal op. Dan kan ik je helemaal los maken. Ja, dan. Hoi, hoi. hoi, hoi. So. Now we're going to talk about dependability. We saw that he was uh, easy with the pup. That's one of the things that I really like about a dog. That you know that they are relaxed with pups. He's also relaxed with uh, bitches or female dogs. They can do a lot of things with him. But uh, male dogs, it depends. If the other dog is uh, not overly dominant, It's, uh, it's fine, you can also go with another dominant dog that's not uh, coming too close in this aura, so to say. But on the other hand, if he meets a dominant dog, he will try to exert the dominance as well. And then you can have some uh, growling or roughhousing together, and perhaps even fighting. And it depends where you can uh, come in to, to stop it before it uh, escalates of course so an important factor is that they are dependable and it's nice that they're dependable with uh, animals but it's more important that they are dependable with humans the members of your family for example your children or the friends of your children but i also like my dog that's a nice bird i also like my dog to uh, be uh, very brave if needed. So for example, if there would be a home intrusion or, some, or someone tries to kidnap one of your children, for example, that he will go in even though he's a very small dog, as you can see here. So that's a good thing. And also dependability could be on his uh, purposes. Eh? If you want a dog that can, uh, can have a watchdog ability, then it's nice that they also take that serious. Or if you have them for uh, rodent control, which I also really like, like about this uh, terrier type of dog, of working stock, that you can easily also work rodents and other stuff that comes into your uh, yeah, premises. So a rodent could be a, a brown rat up to a nutria, and sometimes also you have uh, other predators such as foxes and uh, stone martyrs and the likes that can kill you, for example, your poultry. It's nice that you have a dog that can take care of that and protect your life.